Okay. What I want to show you now is um, how to do the following. See, we have um, over here we have a form that the students can use to enter their data. But then if you want to see the results, you need to hit results or somewhere else and then the chart is there. Now the problem is that's going to be a lot of back and forth that you're going to have to do. And uh, um, we want to actually have our form for data entry as well as our uh, chart with the results we want to have them side by side and we'll see in a minute why we want that. Now uh, the way to do that is to um, go and create a new page. Now I'm going to call this uh, six side by oops, by side and I'm going to put it underneath here for, uh, I might as well call it five Okay, next thing we do is we hit edit page, right? And um, the trick we're going to use is um, we're going to make a table. Table, insert table, and we're going to make it two by one because we want to have um, two columns. Then the first is going to contain our insert form. Surface area of a square. Running until it loads. Select. And um, there's a couple of tricks here that you need to keep an eye on. Um, first off, I'm going to uncheck these boxes because uh, that's going to use a lot of space on the screen. The next thing I'm going to change is the width. So this is a little tricky. Remember, if you if you project on an overhead projector, usually the resolution is lower than what you would get with a full screen um, desktop. So it's um, often 800 pixels or um, 1000 pixels or something like that, 800, 1024. So uh, if I'm going to use 400, that means um, it's going to be too wide because we actually need another one and then we have the sidebar as well. So let's hit and make that 300 just to be sure and of course you can change that later if it doesn't doesn't work for you yet okay so form goes on the left then here on the right goes insert chart I'm going to create and select this guy um, so same deal I'm gonna exclude the border and the title and I'm gonna oh sorry I'm gonna change the width to say 300 save and I'm going to hit save now remember uh, you don't actually see the results of these um, two insertions until you hit save there you go side by side okay um, there's one little gotcha here, which is a little annoying, and that is that if you um, if you enter your data, you do actually need to refresh the page um, before you actually see it in the chart. At least you see them side by side. So, for instance, later on when we actually want to read off coordinates on the x or y axes, we can actually enter those right away here without having to go back and forth. So. Um, let's say I'm a student now here who thinks that if I take the surface area I always need to add 1. Okay, so 4, 5, 9, 10, uh, 17, 26. And now I'm going to hit submit. Okay, you see that um, after submission it did not overtake the complete browser window, only this area of the um, so you can even go back and submit more data. Now, um, in order to get the chart to update, you need to refresh the page. And uh, I'm in full screen mode now, so but otherwise there would be a reload button here. Um, in this uh, browser, it's Control R. So you see it's spinning. Reload. There you go. So the one I just entered is uh, somewhere here. It's, it's one of these. I already forgot which one it was. Okay. And um, that concludes this thing.